Hello, everybody, and welcome back to another Dark Rooms Reactions. It's me, a Psychic, with uh, Inky, Ozone, and Underscore. Uh, this is probably on Ozone's channel, but we're going to be reacting to the newest Game Theory video because we all love MatPat. He's the best good, FNAF good theorist. Lad, he, he says, he we only do. says facts, only says facts. Um, Coil's the puppet. Let's not be too sarcastic with him, Psychic. Please don't <laughs> be like that. <laughs> I'm, I'm kidding. Clampat makes good theories. He actually, I do not condone he, yeah. toxicity. Yeah, I was only making a joke. I actually really like Pet's theories. Yeah, he's pretty cool. Yeah, yeah he actually is really cool. Yeah. So let's watch one! Yes! Yeah, right, this is do the NAF. Let's is go. Golden Freddy really in security breach? And my answer is yes. Yeah. Thanks for coming in, Freddy. We'll I, I heard you got some new eyes recently. Just want to check to make sure that they're all functioning before we send you back out there on the stage. Tell me, okay. what do you see here? <laughs> that is my friend Bonnie. I miss him. He's dead. <laughs> Don't we all? Don't we all? How about this one? It's me? Hmm. Interesting response with heavy war implications. <laughs> Make a note of that okay. one. All right. How about this last one? Oh, that's uh, that's the DJ, you know, DJ, DJ. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Look, oh, hold on, don't help me. I have this. D That's DJ. It. Come on, Freddy. It's obviously Music Man. There it is. Yep. This that. is the remix. Oh, I love it. Music Man. I love the remix. What the frick? Oh. <laughs> oh. How long is this going on for? This is insane. Hello, yeah. internet. Welcome to Game Theory. Had to come in somewhere, the only I guess. thing that slaps harder yeah. than our remixes is you slapping that subscribe button. A That's huge master hand. Right <laughs> Game Theory subreddit for helping that meme achieve its true final form, <laughs> and for letting me use it as that part was, of this video. That was as a I write this, this masterpiece only has 400 views, so let's blow that channel up. Link is in the top line of the description. You know what to say. Fill up those comments. Let me hear you, music man. As the man okay. said in the song. Let's go. Let's oh no. Go. Go, go. Say what you will about security breach, and uh, there's certainly a lot you God can say. say about security breach. Oh, the fact that it this launched King. this weird unseen animatronic from Pizzeria Simulator into Wait, meme board status is perhaps its Death King's video was on that and screenshot. And speaking of other unseen oh, animatronics, sweet. today's episode is actually oh, a nice. pair of mini theories all about two animatronics that are notably absent from this newest game. Characters that have been with us since the very beginning of the franchise, but whose 80s shoulder pads apparently weren't big enough for the final cut. And in a game that throws so much Freddy spaghetti against a lore wall to see what sticks, Freddy exploded from the game is almost as interesting as what made the final cut. So what are the mysteries surrounding these two animatronics? Can we solve the mysteries? And what do the solutions tell us about the lore of this new game? That, my loyal theorists, is what we aim to answer today. Missing animatronic number one, Glamrock Bonnie. We all thought it was strange when the trailers first dropped and we saw our favorite animatronics in their new 80s getup. Freddy, Chica, Foxy, kind of, and Bot. No, 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 that, that's an alligator. <laughs> yep, Montgomery Gator true. was in, and Bonnie the Bunny was out. At first, I thought this was just gonna be a repeat of Sister Location. Introduce some new characters, reintroduce some yeah. old ones with new looks, and, you know, just leave a couple out. But then, right outside of the daycare of Security Breach, we hear this. There is no rabbit at the Mega Pizza Plex. Not anymore. And that right there, my friends, is Theory Bait. Stick it on a fish hook and drop it in the water to reel me in. Clearly, this was that is horrifying. <laughs> yeah, sea bunnies. There's a story here. Sea bunnies. Mystery to solve. Glamrock Bonnie did exist at some point here in the Pizza Plex and now doesn't. And the game continues to remind us of this mystery as we explore them all. While trying Where to take the mission Chica, Where you have to venture at? into Bonnie Bowl. And while we're up there, Freddy says this. I do not come up here anymore. I miss him. We even get a collectible message from Roxy so Raceway sad. that talks about him. Quote, management report. The bowling alley needs a re-theme. While most of the Bonnie art was removed, kids keep asking, where's Bonnie? Do we have an officially approved response? So, yeah. Where he is died, Bonnie? Kids. The kids want to know, and heck, oh I want to know. What happened to everyone's favorite rabbit? Well, to answer that, we actually have to follow the other messages that we get in the Faz Watch. Specifically, My this security alert found behind a locked mod <gasps> gate in the game's opening no. service tunnel. Quote, security report, 1224 AM. Bonnie is seen leaving 
leaving his green room in Rockstar Row heading east towards the atrium. 2.40 a.m., Bonnie enters the East Arcade. It takes him a long time to walk Bonnie get around. Bonnie enters Monty Golf. Bonnie is wandering around the Pizza Plex <laughs> and winds up in Monty Gator Golf. And see, this is an important detail because, as we see in both the game and the collectible messages, Monty has a bit of a mean streak going on. He likes breaking things. He also has a bit of an ego. I don't know if you noticed, but the animatronics in this game are unusually human compared to the ones that we've seen previously. They have personality, yeah, mm -hmm. emotion. Personality we see Roxy flying in her room frick. because we've managed to escape her. We should have found it by now. Yeah. It's not fair. I'm not a loser. Chica is just hungry all the time, and Monty wants to be the star. <laughs> He's looking for a way to rise to the role of leader of the band, singer in the spotlight. We know this thanks to hole number nine of the yeah. Gator Golf minigame. Monty I'm glad he's is bringing center up all stage, the different and Freddy is points. left out in the dumpster. So when bass player Bonnie comes also rolling into his domain late at night, Monty sees this as his opportunity to take him out and become the bass player himself. This is all fairly straightforward just from reading those collectible messages, but it does leave me wondering why. Why did Bonnie go to Monty Golf in the first place? Well, what if someone led Bonnie there so he would get destroyed? Monty would get what he oh. wants, a more prominent role in the band, hmm. and Bonnie would be quietly decommissioned and turned yeah. to scrap. Is this related to that one that uh, CD? To help rebuild another rabbit that we're all familiar oh. with. Well, yes, yeah, she's talking which uh, Bonnie is. Good old burn trap I, 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 I You want to know where Glamrock Bonnie yeah. is? Right there, right in front of your face. Yeah. Burn trap's body is Glamrock Bonnie. Body. And I'm not just saying that yeah, because they're like both it. rabbits. There's actually a couple more clues that point. It makes more direction. sense than it being if Afton's we turn body. Back to when we last saw Afton in the form of Scrap <laughs> yeah. Trap during Pizzeria Simulator and Ultimate Custom Night, there were some interesting design details, namely the fact that we can see a lot of bone underneath the suit. A lot. Why is he going with this? Top of his skull. While jaw, Burn Trap doesn't look as organic, here, even the he's more robotic. You can make out in his jump scare, but here in Security Breach, Afton has yeah. basically got a whole new body. As Scrap Trap, he was Agree. made primarily of bone and muscle, but now he's okay. almost entirely animatronic with the exception of which the is weird good. fleshy tendons right, that right. entangle the endoskeleton as well as the skull, which now appears to be melted Bunch into the rabbit so cool. face. But mm -hmm. we see loads of endoskeletons throughout Security Breach. We even hear Vanessa saying that they could just put old casings onto new endos if they need to. Money will run the shows until parts and service can slap your casing on a new endo. So You'd why really like then that am one, I Nick. so sure that Burn Trap uses Bonnie's endo when they could have used any other endoskeleton? It all <laughs> Because it's a rabbit. To the hands. They make a big oh. point in the trailers yeah. to reveal this mechanical hand with claws at the end of its fingers, and they put emphasis on it again during Afton's ending when his hand reaches outside the recharge station. On both occasions, the focus is on Afton's oh. left hand, a hand that was completely missing from Scrap Trap in both FNAF 6 and Ultimate Custom Night. I mean, huh. technically he was missing that entire left arm, but uh, you get the point. So, what does any of this have to do with Bonnie? That could be any endoskeleton arm, right? Wrong. Take a look at the Glamrock endoskeletons yeah. from this game. No Their way. hands? Yep, they don't have claws. The only oh. animatronic whose endoskeleton does have claws? Montgomery yeah, Gator. That's what I was we actually get a really now. good look at his hands once we've decommissioned him. But uh, hold on a minute. I was saying that Burn Trap was made from Bonnie, so why am I so focused on Monty? Well, we have to go back to the messages that we get on our fast Monty gets the Down claws. in Parts and Services, we get this maintenance log. Quote, Montgomery's claw upgrades allow him to play the oh. he most Oh! 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 Damage. Before I, read I this like message, this. This is really good. Claws didn't really wow. So Bonnie had the same claws so he could play the bass. Kind of yeah. Sense. But this yeah. message made me reevaluate that opinion. Claws are only for animals. That, that makes a lot of sense. Bass. Yeah. When we get the yeah, message about wow. Bonnie being out of commission, we get this line. Quote, with Bonnie out of commission, we are making Monty the new bass player. Oh. Parts and service have already done the yeah. proper adjustments. And he's Bonnie's replacement. installing the claws on Monty because he's becoming the bass player, which means that Bonnie yeah. before him must have also had claws. They need to be built into the endoskeleton I agree with that. because they have to yeah, pluck that's the sound logic. strings. Therefore, the claws yeah, no, I totally agree with this. This, yeah. is, this is really that they good. Could have only come so, from yeah. A single source, Glamrock, Bonnie. Straight up Glamrock fact. Bonnie that's good evidence. Bonnie is the only one conspicuously missing from the Security Breach lineup. Where is everyone's favorite yellow clickbait, Golden Freddy? <laughs> yellow <laughs> clickbait? <laughs> 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 Last we saw old yellow Fredbear, he was twitching away at the end of so, the Wait, I'm going to pause it because that seems like the end of the Bonnie right. theory. Um, I really like yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. Um, and really oh, I love good. it. I think that, we all agreed with I it. Think that, I absolutely agree. Can that be linked back to um, 46 talking to a robot with bunny it ears? Was, um, and Vanessa was talking to the robot. I yeah. don't. 
Or was it yeah, Vanessa? It like did was it Vanessa, Vanessa, or did Vanessa was... build Afton? She probably yeah. helped, yeah. It depends. It depends on if Vanessa is Vanny, like a hundred percent. Yeah. Uh, is, what do you oh, yeah, mean? I mean, I mean did Vanny did Vanny help build Afton? Is my question. So, oh, I think absolutely, yeah. Because it's not the actual Afton, because yeah. that that body burned. Yeah. It's I'm, only I'm, yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. Only I'm still debating on like that. I'm still debating on how exactly um like the, the specifics of of Bonnie going to Monty Golf and getting destroyed. Like, there's a possibility that maybe before Bonnie was destroyed, Afton was controlling him, or something like that. You know. Th True. But. It, I think it's safe to say that yeah, Bonnie's endo stuff did go to Afton's body. I like. That. I think that was really good. Bonnie. Yeah. I think, yeah. judging by how long, and this is just pointless speculation, but I think judging by how long it took Bonnie to get to Monty Golf, it took him like four hours. I think yeah. he probably was just taking a walk. <laughs> I think he was just taking a walk around the pizza plex. Vanessa comes I, up to him, I hey, why don't that. you go check out uh, Monty Golf? I heard he wanted to see you for something or something what like that. And Monty, I, being how uh, aggressive he is, see, I, he wanted to see you for saw the, the opportunity. Uh, achievement. Right, and Vanessa saw the opportunity for the parts. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and and Monty saw the opportunity to rise in the ranks. Yep, it all works out. Huh. Wow. All right, now let's move on to Golden Freddy. Oh, geez. Th it's going to be Casty in the exactly arcade what he's gonna say here. Yeah. At Casty in the yeah. arcade yeah. consoles. Yeah, definitely. Yep, here we go. Entrapped in an endless purgatory of torment. Meanwhile, you got old man consequences over here asking Cassidy, you good, bro? And encouraging them to <laughs> leave the demon to his demons. So, hey, bro, yep, just chill a bit. Just chill. Largely done. Cassidy, aka the one you should not have killed, aka the vengeful spirit, mm. the kid, whatever you want. This was another playing piece off the lore table. The end of another character arc. So, why would Cassidy appear in Security Breach doesn't seem necessary, but then it was more than the end. time. Security because why is Cassidy back? Everything it had at the wall to see what stuck. Huh. I do mean everything they had. Basically, everyone and everything in the series up to this point is represented somewhere in this game. FNAF yeah. 1 animatronics, yeah. FNAF yep. 2 animatronics, tons of references to FNAF 4, a direct connection back to FNAF 6. There's Baby, there's the Puppet, there's the Fun Times. If my wow. theories up to this point have been correct too, you also get crying child michael and elizabeth the aftons all in one neat little package which i'm not sure about yet <laughs> more or less cabinets reference everything from the original novel trilogy to the fazbear fright stories heck in this one mm -hmm. game you get not only one but two count them two versions of william afton glitch trap and burn trap you have all the versions of pretty much all the important characters throughout the franchise so in a title yeah. that seemingly okay. references every other important corner fnaf lore where's our golden boy freddy well, he's there. He's hiding in plain sight, right here inside the Princess Quest arcade games. The princess is quite well done, that part. <laughs> Freddy. Or to be entirely accurate, it's actually the spirit of Cassidy inside the arcade game. Right. I know it seems crazy, right? And while I could try to bury the lead here and string this whole thing out, mm. I'm not. There's just too much to talk about. We know that this is Golden Freddy because it's coming straight out of the horse's mouth. I guess it's the sheep's mouth because it's still <laughs> duties. Anyway, if you dive into the game files there's a character sprite folder labeled cassidy open it up and what do you find yep. the princess now i gotta be honest that alone didn't convince me sure it is a huge deal and obviously the golden color of the princess is a direct connection back to everyone's of course, favorite of course. yellow bear we all thought she was a vanessa originally used the name mm -hmm. jeremy in like yeah. what at least four separate places is that right four he's a missing children's incident yeah. kid he sliced his face off in fnaf vr with a paper cutter he's a security guard from the fnaf 2 paycheck and oh yeah he's in the latest fazbear yeah, <laughs> he's also in the he's also in the FNAF AR emails, the leaked wow. ones. So forgive me if I'm in need of oh a bit God. more proof here before I call this. So but it's probably the same Jeremy, one of digging. the same ones. First, it's worth noting that in a previous. Wait, did Madfat just say he didn't take it at face value and actually dug deeper? <gasps> I guess what? Oh, oh my gosh, Hilarious. that's insulting! You want to get on the live stream and you're insulting? No, me. I'm, I'm, I'm. No, I, I'm, I'm saying like that's a good step. It's a good step. It is a good it's, step. Yeah, so is, I yeah. feel like some people think he doesn't do that, so it's a good take thing. everything at face value. Yeah, I feel like people think yeah. he does take everything at face value, so it's a good thing that he's actually. Well, yeah, a little, bit of, a little bit of proof. Not everyone. Of yeah, a little he bit knows that more, not everyone's going to yeah. be convinced yeah. by one point. Yeah, right. Yeah, Which is very, he's, I'm, I'm, he's, he's I'm acknowledging. He's I think it's very good. On there's him. a lot of people that come out. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I think it's a very good. It's very good. So I, I was, I was, I wasn't making fun of him mm -hmm. at all. Yeah. 
Yeah, you all right, right, continue. Princess was actually meant to be a stand-in for Vanessa. You see, Security Breach isn't the first time that we've actually seen the Princess Quest minigame. It originated as part of the mobile port right. for FNAF VR mm -hmm. when they needed some way of telling and Vanessa's story. And that's canon to the game Instead as of well. finding 16 glitching yep. cassette tapes like you did in the original FNAF VR, the mobile port has you playing Princess Quest 1, lighting 16 braziers to eventually find the layer of glitch trap. Interestingly, yeah. though, digging through that game's files reveals that the Princess character wasn't labeled as Cat. This is a new thing for Security Breach, which tells me that this was also an important story element hmm. for them. A story that, I mean, now that I we would have agree, all three yeah. Princess Quest games to look at, suddenly takes on a different meaning. When you play Princess Quest 1, you're being I hope he brings up the arcade conspiracy. Creatures. These things are clearly working for Glitch Trap, but if that's the case, why would he be sending them to attack you? If the princess is truly meant to be a stand-in for Vanessa finding the tapes, wouldn't he want Vanessa to find them so she comes under his control? Rabbits attack Attacking That's a good point. Sense. However, yeah. if we consider the Golden Princess to instead be Cassidy, back from the dead once more to try and stop William for good, then of course, Billy Afton would do everything he can to stop the princess. I also think that each princess quest represents a different phase of Cassidy's okay. experience. Okay, yeah, I've Cassidy heard about this. Yes. Yes. Cassidy is helpless, an innocent, helpless child lured I'm to a back a whole room two and killed by a monster yeah, that's in the good. shadows. But by I Princess like Quest 3, the princess is fighting back. And not just fighting back, but doing it in the same location location that we walk through in FNAF VR. Notice mm. the large central stage, I've the prize it, corner so back behind listen. us, and a rounded <laughs> side stage to the left. Now, this is an important detail because as we see at the end of FNAF VR, we're playing in the location of the missing children's incident. Exactly. Glitch Trap lures us to the back room only to shove our dead body into Freddy's suit while he dances around. This is Which was still one of the greatest Korea, moments in the, the series, series <laughs> Yeah. Including Cassidy first went missing. It's just Cassidy's strangely unsettling. truly comes full circle. Playing through Princess Quest 3 the first time, I also thought it was unusual to have a giant Chica face looming in the background watching us. Like, why? Seriously, why? You don't just do that for decoration. And then I remember I was the this first, yeah, I, I think it's that. Night. Mm -hmm. Yes! I have seen You're everything. I was the first I have seen I everything. knew it. This means that Susie, the spirit inside of Chica, saw the deaths of everyone else, meaning yes. that she was probably watching as Cassidy was killed. <laughs> I love the animations as Chica is like, whoa! Would be the one watching us in this moment. So the file name matches, the color matches, the narrative arc makes sense as we revisit important locations from Cassidy's past, but that's not all. Elsewhere in the files, there's another piece of glitch text, similar to the text that we originally saw when you approached Glitch Trap in Princess Quest yep, 1, but me. this time, yeah. it's much shorter. It'd yep, be hard to exactly, decipher if yeah. we hadn't just decoded Afton's text before, but we did. And using that code, we're able to translate these dots as, it's me. The iconic phrase that we've seen every Every time Golden Spot Freddy on. has been present Spot throughout on. the series. Yeah, Last but not least, Cassidy being here just makes sense with the story. Whenever there's William, Cassidy yeah. is close behind, hence the whole vengeful part of vengeful spirit. This is something mm -hmm. that we actually see in the Fazbear Frights books, specifically the story The Man in the Room 1280. In this story, I said this. Ruined he's like, he's really tying it all together. I really like oh, yeah. a spirit named Andrew with curly black hair wearing an alligator mask. This very clearly is meant to be the book stand-in for Cassidy. In a previous story, Andrew okay, yeah. outright says, quote, I do remember wanting to get back at someone who hurt me. I think I attached myself to him. I got into his soul, made sure he couldn't move on when he should have died. I remember I wanted him to suffer the way he made me suffer. Basically, the two are inseparable. Andrew grafted himself onto Afton, and now their souls are mixed. So consider this. Glitch Trap was created when a bunch of circuit boards were scanned into a system to create a video game. They sent us that stuff in the first place. With and I have a theory about those circuit boards. Junk. Can I can like I pause that. real quick? Sure. Uh, sure. Um, so there were arcade machines uh, in the room where Afton gets spring locked. I think his agony at the moment of spring locking uh, went into those arcade machines and those chips, and that's where they got the chips. Um, I alternate alternate theory. The alternate theory comes in at, but it's only if the stitch rate is canon. Right. Hmm. Uh, I know what you're about to say, yeah. When he explodes at the distribution center, half of his soul yeah. goes into the fetch animatronic with Andrew to cause the stitch rate. Half yeah. of it goes into some circuit boards lying around. Interesting. I, I think both are, like, a good opportunity. Or yeah. yeah, and I just want to say, in my recent video, I said that Andrew could potentially be a different soul to Cassidy. Um, like, the, the sixth victim. Yeah. But uh, I'm I'm not I'm not sure about that now. Yeah. Like old man consequences because of the crocodile mm. mask. But 
Yeah, anyway, all right, let's continue. Yeah, let's continue. Mm -hmm. code on some of it. If Cassidy was truly attached to Afton, then Cassidy's spirit would also likely be in those circuit boards, thereby creating a digital yeah. version of her, aka the princess. Yeah. So yeah, I feel that makes pretty sense. Very confident that that is indeed Cassidy in Princess Quest. Everything I could find backs it up from a design, timeline, narrative sense. Also, the file name suggests that the king is actually old man consequences. Yep, yeah. Sure, I guess. Leave the demon to his demons. Unless, of course, you want to take my sword and go ham on him. Anyway, so well, he does you know, say he does say time to rest. At all? And you ignore well, it. Yeah. Gives us a rationale so. for why playing some random arcade games somehow time manages to, to free Vanessa from Glitch Trap's control. As a reminder, if you play all three Princess Quest games, you get the free Vanny ending, where she turns good and joins you eating symbolic ice cream cones. Symbolic ice cream cones. It's a pretty weird logical leap that playing a few random arcade games somehow gets this young woman free of the virus that's infected her brain. But now, it makes a bit more sense. At the end of Princess Quest 3, we confront a large security door that's covered in purple goo, mm -hmm. only to get a blood-curdling scream. That goo tells us that it's glitch trap behind the door. It even has a glowing set of eyes on the left-hand side, oh. which, if you squint, kind of looks like a rabbit head. This kind of goo wasn't present in the identical door within Hell right. Ryan, implying right. that he is now in control. So when Cassidy unlocks mm. the door and goes in, the digital scream that we hear from the other side is glitch trap dying. Yes! Um, Cassidy delivers the killing oh blow, my and God, maybe, this is exactly what finally, I wanted. I think it's Vanny screaming I, yeah. as the security breach to really, me. It's, like it's releasing the part of Vanessa that he locked away back then right and so vanny is dying so it's like glitch traps voice through vanny i think i guess yeah it's not exactly uh, let's pause for a second let's pause closure back and some pause it i guess it is more of a blood curling i'm freaking dying right now scream than a oh i'm free now scream i guess you're right about that right. so the, the the identity of vanny is dying and so yes like, like that getting removed from Vanessa, I think, is causing her pain, but also freedom. So that's why it doesn't. It doesn't sound like a man screaming. It does sound like the 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 thing is, um, I I really really like from a story standpoint if Glitchtrap dies here because oh, then that well. would mean that we've still got a physical form of Afton below the Peter uh... Flex, and then we can explore that later on. Well, well, the thing is, mm -hmm. without Glitchtrap, the physical form doesn't have anything because his soul is still in Ultimate Custom Night. It's just I, I don't, I don't know about that. I don't know. I, I really think it is, but I don't know. Because I mean, I bet he digital digital clones of them almost. I bet he might be freed from UCN by now. Like UCN, I I know I keep jumping back to the Stitch Wraith, but if mm. if the if UCN is what's happening to William while he's in the hospital. UCN ends when his body explodes in the distribution center. I guess, yeah. But it's still right. kind of a mess having to fit I, all the Wait, wait why would... Why would so. why, it's not why, all the... Wait, why would... Hmm? Right, not of all course, Of course UCN is over because Cassidy's in this game. If there was still UCN, Cassidy would be there. Well, not if it's like Glitch Trap where it's another digital recreation. But then why would Cassidy be here and not in UCN? Because, well, why would Glitchtrap be here and not in UCN? Map Pat said it himself, like, Cassidy fused to Afton, and so when Afton yeah, so, had, so like, a why are we talking about, why are we talking, That's why I'm confused, like, why are we talking about UCN? Why would either of them be there? Uh, I don't know. It's just, I, I feel like, uh, I feel like, even if his soul is outside of UCN, I don't, I don't know if it has means to get to the burn trap body or not. It seems like Glitch Trap was piloting it in Security Breach. All right, let's just continue. Yeah, yeah we're almost done. FNAF 3's we're... happiest day. Henry and the puppet got their closure in the FNAF 6 yeah, ending. Maybe. If I'm right about my theories, then the rebuilt after not the puppet. Got their closure I don't on think. the hillside eating ice cream here in More Security Breach. And now Cassidy. Perhaps. Well, all yeah. the other dead kids of the series have been able to move on, Cassidy has always remained. Always trying to chase Afton down, torturing him in purgatory for what he's done. So driven by anger and revenge that she couldn't let go. So this feels like a great ending to this chapter of the series. Finally, Cassidy. It's not the end here, I'm telling you that much. There's no way, yeah. Agony and putting an end to the Golden Freddy arc, and hopefully to Afton's arc as well. But there's still one no. more that's incomplete. One more series of secrets in this game that oh, we no. haven't talked about yet. Oh, no. Episode as we oh, oh, no. I don't that's gonna be, that's gonna be big. I don't want to. The frustrating part of it. The retro yeah, series. The mysterious patient 46. And what all yeah. of that has to do with the theories that we've covered so far. So bite of I'm excited, honestly. This 
this isn't sure really good. Miss it. And as always, remember, yeah, this is a really good, just a theory. Um, good video. A game theory. Thanks for watching. That was so really remember, good, actually. February 19th. All right. Oh, wait, yeah, here we go. Our final security breach theory. Final security breach theory. Stick around after the episode for a live theorist talk back, where me and a bunch wow. of other FNAF theorists from around YouTube I'll get be together that. to discuss. What if he's reaching out to people? Breach. The good, the bad, I would, the That robotic. would be cool. We can't wait to hear your thoughts. Oh, I don't think it is that. If I had to guess, he probably already has a lineup. Yeah. But, yeah. Um, yeah. We should. But dark but yeah, rooms. I mean, that's dark. That's cool. Hey, Matt Pat, if you're, if you're. You know, underscore no zone for for the serious live stream. If we could be on there as I'm well, we have ideas like, as well. Yeah. Uh, I mean, we like we well, like theorize as a group a lot. I mean, Ozone's like the most theory heavy person. Yeah. We're a little we're a little less likely because we don't actually like make full on videos on it. I'm but... just as theory as Ozone. I just do it less consistently. <laughs> and on FNAF, I mean, my last video was you a month done it ago. In like a year. And you my last video was a month ago. <laughs> Anyways, anyway, chances are um, none of us are gonna get on there, but true, most likely, uh, it'll most be fun. Likely. We'll definitely be there in the chat. So you should totally if, if, spam MatPat, tell him to let us on. No, don't do that. I, I be um, as toxic I'm, as possible. I made my, no, I just anyway, made my fin first... final thoughts. Final thoughts. Final thoughts. Very, very good. It was a good theory. Good theory. It was a good video. I really liked yes, it a lot. I agree. I don't think uh, aside, I don't. I don't think there was anything I disagreed with, except maybe the puppet, not. Yeah. Uh, like, oh yeah. Wait. End, maybe. Has he yeah. talked? About I like the, the glamour bunny theory. He said he, he said he, he, he briefly talked and said that the puppet moved on. Yeah. So. When we clearly okay. know puppet is coiled. I think so. Oh my oh. gosh. <laughs> Obviously. No. Uh, Anyways, anyway, we reaction, we just recorded we an episode of the podcast uh, talking about our security breach theory. So make sure you go and it'll listen be, to that when it's out next week. It'll be up on the um twelfth. The twelfth yeah. of February. Yes. So uh, yeah. Thank you for watching. Anything else? Thank I don't you think for so. watching. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Bye. 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 <laughs> Bye. What an awkward outro. <laughs> How do we end this? I don't know. Okay. Okay.